Hey guys, so I figured it was time that I shared my thoughts on probably what could arguably like one of the most top trending news right now as I'm recording this video is that Robert Downey Jr. is coming back to the MCU, but as Victor Von Doom slash Doctor Doom. And according to the Russo brothers, where they announced it at San, San Diego Comic-Con uh, this past weekend, they claim that it's going to be Victor Von Doom himself and only one actor that can play him. Uh, like, that's a bit of a stretch. And ever since that news has broken out, there's been a lot of people who said that this is a desperate move and it's a bad decision, you know, like odd for Marvel. And just for the simple fact that when you think of Robert Downey Jr., the, the immediate image in your brain is going to be of Tony Stark slash Iron Man. And rightfully so. And there's also people who are positive about it. And I think the people who are most excited for it is that were at, at that um, convention. And then when they were right there and when they saw the announcement, you know, they were uproaring with rejoice. Like, and, um, <clears throat> or maybe it's because they were just happy to see him. You know, maybe that's what it was, you know, maybe a little both. But, um, yeah, pe people have been pretty, pretty harsh on, on their, like, basically on, with their opinions on the news. Where... It's desperate, you know, like it's cash grab. I mean, like everything is, but that's all it is. It's just like a lifeless cash grab, desperate attempt to get people to say that Marvel is back and that Marvel has still has something good to offer. Look, we got Robert Downey Jr. back. So that, that means we are cooking. And everyone's just like, yep, it's desperate, it's desperate, it's desperate. And I got to say, where do I sit with that? Um... I have to agree. It is pretty desperate. And I, I know people are going to say like, well, there's the multiverse. You know, this is a variant. Da, 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 da. There's a comic book where, you know, he does become Dr. Doom. Ba, 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 um, I, I don't know. I mean, like, just like Tyro Magnus said about that topic. Like, you know, just because, you know, like that was a comic. It doesn't mean that, you know, like it was a good idea. I disagree with him on a lot of things lately, but this ain't one of them. This ain't one of them. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. I mean, you know, like, just because someone's a very talented actor doesn't mean that they're the right fit for the role. I mean, there are many, 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 many talented actors. Many extraordinary actors. You know, like, Robert Downey Jr. is no exception. And then, I'd be like me saying, well, you know, like, uh, if, why do we get Russell Crowe to be in and all? You know, it doesn't always going to mean that he's the, a, an obvious choice. I mean, he already had a part in, in the MCU. But this isn't the same as Josh Bowen playing Thanos and Cable. This is before, you know, like uh, the studios merged. Before they uh, before Disney got a hold of the 20th Century Fox. So at that point, it was two different studios. Like, you know, like it was outside of the MCU. So, you know, there was that. And... People playing in the same comic book brand, but in different universes, has has happened before. I mean, like, I could go on forever with that one. But, um, yeah, like, this is supposedly going to be in the same universe where we were introduced, like, by following Iron Man, Tony Stark first. And, I don't know. I mean, like, there is that possibility that he is from... The uh the separate universe in the multiverse where it's just the Fantastic Four, where they have their own little universe, and then it turns out they're going to be coming over here into uh the main main universe, and where they changed the title from Avengers uh King Dynasty now it's Avengers Doomsday. <laughs> I know, like just saying that out loud, you're going to be thinking, okay, so Marvel and DC are crossing over. And they're going to start with fighting Doomsday. Nope. It's basically to imply that Dr. Doom is coming. And he's going to wreak havoc on the Avengers. And, um, you know, I know people have been wanting Dr. Doom to come into the MCU for many years. 
many years. I was looking forward to that myself. And I feel bad for a lot of hardcore Dr. Doom fans, or it seems like a good chunk of them are very disappointed. And then there's on the other end where they're, they're cautiously optimistic and some are pretty excited about this. And um, I mean, if you're excited, good, cool. All right, I hope that your uh, faith is rewarded. The same with the cautiously optimistic crowd, same with you. And like, you know, if you, um, if, like if you are kind of on board with it and there's some reluctance there, but you're pushing through that, I hope that they don't, you know, like uh, screw you over in the end. But with me, I'm just not on board with this. <laughs> I mean, will I see how it plays out? Yeah, it's very unlikely that I won't. It's very unlikely that I would, I would avoid it. But I just... Uh, I just feel like this was a bad move. And it was like... It definitely screams desperation. Like, while well, this happened in the middle of people thinking that, okay, the MCU has nothing more to offer. They just have these really good movies once in a while. But overall, it is crumbling. Like, it is crumbling in my mind. Like, my love for it is crumbling. And it's like, how can we breathe life back into <laughs> their love for the MCU? Like, yeah, I know. Let's get Robert Downey Jr. back. I know. I did da, 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 da. But I don't know. I mean, that's where I sit with it. It could play out really well. And then where he will cover his face the whole time. And then we'll feel no sign of Tony Stark whatsoever. But we will see. Like. We may see a brief origin flashbacks as Victor Von Dem. Like, I mean, like, come on, like, like, you need to have like another actor who you can see, like, okay, that is Dr. Doom. Not, you know, somebody who's played a role in the MCU and then they've, you know, and their arc has been wrapped up and then you bring them back and then it's like, okay, so they're another beloved character in, from the comics. Like, I don't know, that's just like, that's a slippery slope. And, Wow, this is like a bad decision. You know, like it's, uh, I don't know. <sighs> yeah, I just feel like it's lazy. I mean, like, have you seen my short on this quick thought? I mean, I couldn't decide if it was lazy or uh, desperate. But I don't know. I guess we'll see when Avengers Doomsday comes out in theaters in, I guess, 2026, if I'm not mistaken. But. I don't know. I mean, like, I am going to be casually watching everything that Marvel puts out, or almost everything, but I guess we'll see. I don't know. Where, you, where do you sit on that? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments, and if you like this video, thumb it up, click subscribe, click that, click that notification bell so you can be updated on my latest videos. Thank you for watching, as always, and I'll see you guys in my next video. So, till then, peace out.